Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just, just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. Don't try to force any reading into your world, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. You're my peeps, my soul tribe. Um, yeah, you guys are awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. All right, so Divine, what do you have for the collective today? What messages do you have for the collective? Ooh, someone's hanging on to you. You could be an Aquarius. Um, yeah, someone is hanging on to you. Ooh, uh, there's a chance you could even have, um, you could even have a secret admirer here. I'm seeing you as being, you know, the star energy, very healing energy, right? You're an empath, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, someone very spiritual. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're putting love into everything that you're doing, and it's paying off for you. It's um, You've got quite the following. People are loving what you're doing, okay? You've got this healing energy about you, and you're kind of like a guide for other people, uh, no matter what it is that you're doing. Um, yeah. Uh, and being out in the public eye, showing yourself the way you are, you're absolutely stunningly beautiful, okay? You're stunningly beautiful. Um, and somebody is like, I feel like they're intently watching you, and they just can't, whoever this is, they can't let go. I'm not sure if this is someone from your past or um, somebody new. Clarify this four of pentacles for me, please. Whoever this is, is crushing on you hard, okay? Um, oh, man, look at this. This person's like praying for you. This is somebody literally praying for you. That's what I'm seeing here. You know, I, this could be someone from your past that you, you just are moving forward from, but I'm seeing you here as just a star in the public eye, more in the public eye, where however you look at whatever angle they see you from, you're gorgeous. Okay. Um, very well balanced, very peaceful, calm, serene. You're moving forward and you're headed for great things. Really feeling that star energy here. You're becoming very abundant as well. A lot of people are watching you. A lot of eyes are on you right now. And I feel like this person is, whoever this is, is just praying for you, watching you, um, thinking about you all the time. I don't feel like you notice this person, but I mean, they find you extremely attractive. Okay, extremely attractive. I can't stress that enough. This person's like drooling over you. I, I get the sense. Somebody here is. And I feel like you're, um, you're really focused on you right now and whatever it is that you've got going on. Uh, you're planning a future. Doing things that you love. Putting yourself out there. You've got this really cool, chilled out kind of... Uh, um, personality about you you know the queen of wands is a warrior queen too you've been through it and you know this is this is somebody who's not afraid to get their hands dirty you know what I mean like um, you could be kind of a tomboy but I love the queen of wands like for real she's she's a spitfire too like um, you stand up for yourself and the things you believe in and you're not playing any games. You're not wasting any time with anybody. Uh, I feel like, yeah, you've been burned before by somebody here. This Knight of Wands coming towards you, or maybe this is somebody that came towards you in the past. Now they're in a lot of regret. Yeah. Yeah, because they, look, they came towards this, a true soulmate connection here. Only wanting one thing, 
okay wanting to use this wand as a male phallic in order to be intimate and then they left they abandoned you you were played this is somebody who played you used you and now they're in a lot of regret I feel like on one side of you you don't see that uh, there's a there's a chance you could have a um, uh, a secret admirer and then over here we've got somebody in a lot of regret for you know using you and leaving right playing playing you and honestly I, you this could have been a really good strong connection here yeah it could have led to their ten of cups but I feel like this person manipulated the crap out of you they could have been in a third party situation um, and then met you and used you, that kind of thing, right? And then turn their back on you. And whatever they were in before, uh, whatever situation they had before, it didn't work out. You could be dealing with a Virgo here. This person manipulated, um, manipulated their way and used their way out of having a ten of cups kind of life they they lost all of this I feel like this person they lost their wish fulfillment this is a, a this kind of life here is the kind of life everybody dreams of having and they lost it this could be the person who's like watching you but um, I kind of get the sense, I mean, I get the sense there's somebody new, you've got a secret admirer, but it could be both because a lot of people are watching you right now. You are, I, I feel like you're in the public eye somehow. You may have like um, some kind of podium, uh, social media, but whatever it is you're doing, you're gorgeous. Yeah, I feel like you've got two separate energies here, I've got to say. All right, what can you show me here for the collective? Clarify this for, thank you. Could have a Sagittarius. This person could be a Virgo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is somebody who, uh, this is your player here, I feel. This is someone who's used to getting things their way. They're used to getting whatever they want, okay? And they're really good at it. They are. They're very skilled. They're a smooth talker. They're really good looking. They smell great, you know? Um, they're very intelligent here with this with this Virgo energy, okay? Um but they do impulsive things okay they they take a lot of risks and i think this is your player here i feel like they're trying to manifest you back in because they know that you're the ten of cups they know that you were the real deal and they regret playing you yeah they want a new beginning thank you they've been watching you they know they stabbed you in the back and they owe you an apology they owe you the truth they've been thinking about this once again another virgo card you could be an air sign too this person stabbed you in the back and now they want a new beginning with you they want a new beginning in a lot of pain But who wouldn't want a new beginning with you, though? I mean, this person, when I say they, they missed out on a great opportunity at the real deal and everything, they, I'm not lying. You really are the catch out here, and you're amazingly beautiful. Whoever it is that I'm talking about, you know, this, I feel like you've got a couple of different people watching you here, wanting you bad. It almost feels like a, a race against time, right? Um, and look at all of the thought that they're putting into everything. Seriously, because you are the catch. You're gorgeous. I feel like you're out here single. You're driven. You're powerful. This person over here sees you as their match. 
we've got the king and the queen of wands here. Um, but I, I feel like this person here is somebody new. They're very secretive. <laughs> very, very quiet, right? Just sitting there, eyes constantly just... They can't take their eyes off of you. I don't. I don't think either of these people can. I. Yeah, you could know this person from work. This new secret admirer could be somebody that you work with, or somebody wants to collaborate with you here. Oh man, somebody's very burdened. Um, can't take the burdens anymore. In a lot of pain heartbroken. I feel like that's this person over here, this king of wands, but they played you. They put you in a third party, maybe chose someone else. They're heartbroken regardless. Um, clarify this, the ten of, yeah, they, somebody here sees you as the one I'm telling you, look at this. They see you as the one. Yeah. And you're out here being, um, you know, they, this, the light could be being shed on everything here too. You know, having an enlightenment that you're the one. And I feel like you're the, the one who's financially stable here can hold everything together like a pair of bookends is what I always say, right? And with the ability to take care of the home, the kids, the business, the job, the finances, the bills, the errands, the everything. Um, you're usually the queen of uh, pentacles I usually see as somebody who um, is committed or very, very worthy of commitment. Somebody sees you as their person oh what did I say boom the one somebody wants to get married to you or they're just very dreamy about it here wanting to get you to calmer waters but how I feel like it's this person here your player yeah they're missing out on an opportunity in love yeah that's your player energy. You've got two different people here, I feel, that I'm talking about one from your past and one you haven't met yet. Or you may, you just don't know that they're crushing on you really hard. That's the feeling that I'm getting anyway. <laughs> and whatever it is you're doing, um, that you're showing yourself, right, out there in the public eye, they're watching everything. I kind of feel like this new person here that has a crush on you watches you more intensely than this person from your past. And I have to say, this is the first time I've picked up on that in a reading. Usually it's the person from your past stalking you. Not this time. I feel like you guys have a secret admirer that watches you all the time but is so closed up. Like this is being shy, guarded here. Wanting this beginning with you, right? Should I or shouldn't I come forward? This is a secret admirer. So I feel like they pay, they are watching you more than this person from your past. And that really, they haven't gotten that yet in a reading. All right, so what else can you show me? Right now it just gets still. Like, they're both just sitting. They're both, one is burdened, I can't take the burdens anymore, but just sitting here thinking about how nothing's working out for them, right? They're used to getting their way. Remember? This King of Wands energy is used to getting what they want. They tried to play somebody who just isn't going to play. <laughs> the Queen of Wands, they have met their match here. But, I mean, and this person up here, they're not doing anything yet because they're too dang shy. So right now, it's just like you can feel it getting like, where is this going? Okay. Yeah, where is this going, divine? <laughs> Death. 
Yeah, something's ending here and you're moving forward. I feel like it's it's ending here with this person over here. You still don't know who this person is up here. This um, secret admirer. All right, where is this going? I feel like right now, neither one of these people are going anywhere. You're the only one moving forward with anything. That's what I'm feeling like. In Queen of Wands energy, the world and the star, yeah, you're the only one moving forward. You could be a Cancer. Um, you could be a fire sign, an Aquarius. I've got Scorpio out here. This person up here, I don't know who they are yet. <laughs> They're too shy to give out any details, okay? But they could be an earth sign so far. You know, you could work with them. I don't know. Yeah, and this person over here, we have fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, I'll heavy on the Leo right now. Um, could be a Scorpio, okay? Virgo. Lots of Virgo, lots of fire, okay? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a competition thing going on here, and I feel like you're probably not aware of it, okay? I don't feel like anybody's aware of it, but you're about to have something go down with um, people competing for you, okay? It's cute, though. You're the only one moving here, and these two can't freaking budge. I. It's neat. It's, an, it's a neat read, I'm telling you. Yeah, somebody's thinking about how they're going to communicate here. They may have to cut something out. Yeah, they've got other options around them. I feel like that's this fire sign. See, did you see how it came out, though? Here you are moving forward, and this person just stops you right dead in your tracks did you see how this how this fell out right in front of the chariot and that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting they're gonna fight they're not gonna just leave this alone I feel they're gonna keep trying um, but as soon as you move forward this person's gonna want to try to block your movement but I, I feel it's because they've got other options this is a player it's just that they see you as the most abundant one. And now that they know you're a star, this could be somebody chasing clout, okay? So, um, yeah, they're going to want to try to stop your, your forward movement here. That's this player energy over here. We still don't know much about your secret admirer. <laughs> They're, they, they're, they're, re they're holding on to all info, okay? <laughs> but, yeah. This person from your past, though, they're going to try to stop you. They may even try to start a fight to stop you. Try to get you to talk to them, that kind of thing. From, from leaving. They want to hang on to you. Of course, they, you know, I feel like they used you in a played you and abandoned you in the past but now no no they want to stop you now I don't really like this person over here that much I gotta say I, I'm I'm really digging this guy though <laughs> or girl take it however it resonates with you okay it's not gender specific I'm just looking at the pictures right all right what can you show me here for this uh, king of swords what does this person have planned what do they have planned for the collective? These two are cracking me up, though, you know? And all you're doing is moving forward with your life. But these two? <sighs> yeah, see? They're, I feel like they may try to start a fight just to stir things up, get you to um, put your energy back into the situation again, okay? Uh, yeah, and I, I feel like you're just moving forward from that kind of crap. But they're coming at you fast. They're in the sitting position and pouting right now, but <laughs> they're going to get on this, on this uh, horse and come in and start an argument. They're thinking strategically here how they're going to communicate with you to keep you here. 
They don't want you moving forward with anyone else, right? How do they keep you now that they know that you're abundant and a star, right? This is them making a plan, planning their communication, thinking very strategically about it. And they've decided, well, maybe if I start an argument, they'll have to stop this chariot, argue with me. It'll reel them back in. I can't, I got to hang on to their energy somehow. I can't let this clout escape, right? I don't think it's going to work. I mean, you know, um, only the divine can stop the chariot. Only the divine can stop the chariot, all right? So this chariot, you, you put somebody in front of a chariot, and the chariot's going to bump, bump, bump right over the top of them, like for real, okay? So I, they may pop a tire, and I think that's what this person's trying to do. They're trying to pop the tire of your chariot, okay? Which, of course, is going to make you react, you know? That's, that's the plan, they're trying to make you have some kind of reaction to try to get you to talk to them, to pull you back in, to stop you from moving forward. It's just, it's getting ridiculous, man. Yeah. I don't feel like that it's going to work. I feel like they're going to be enlightened really quick when I feel like this is you defending yourself. It's gonna, they're going to be enlightened really quick because you're going to be like, you know what, man, just back up. Just back up, right? Clear the roadway. <laughs> That's really what I'm seeing. I feel like, yeah, you could be dealing with the Pisces, an air sign. Uh, you could be a Cancer, okay? You're just not dealing with it. I feel like you're you're trying not to deal with this person. Okay, you're moving forward. I don't think there's any way they can really stop the chariot. But they're going to try. They're going to try to talk to you. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be defending yourself. Your right to move forward. That's really what it is. I feel like you're going to be defending your right to move forward. <sighs> Keep it moving. All right. Um, clarify this Seven of Wands for me, please. You're going to enlighten this person. Yeah, they're going to end, they're going to end up stuck. You're going to be able to move forward. They're not. <coughs> Yeah, I feel like they're not going to be able to move forward. Um, it's a possibility, too, that somebody may actually end up in jail. You know? I hope nobody pops your tires. I do. But, yeah, I feel like this is spiritual jail. They, they just, they are not going to be able to move forward with you. They're going to have to stand here. Um, unable to confront the, the ways that they treated you in the past and watch you as you move forward in your chariot. I feel like no, regardless, you're moving forward. You know, and I feel like I just know that there's a secret admirer out, out here that really doesn't want to talk about, <laughs> about themselves right now because they're shy or something. But you're being watched by somebody else, somebody new, who just finds you amazing, and you're stunning. Um, anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this quick energy check. I don't know who this is for, but it's very cute. Um, if you like this reading, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Help me grow, right? Um, become a new Mooney, and uh, yeah, um, if this resonates with you, and if you like this vibe, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.